Assalamu alaikum class 9. Open your chemistry book. Today we are going to continue our lecture number 3. In chapter number 4, that is the structure of molecule and the topic of our discussion is the covalent bond. In a previous lecture, you have learned about the ionic bond that how the uh, how the electrons uh, are gain or lost by the certain type of the elements like in this uh, in ionic compound we are discuss the metal and non-metal now today we are going to discuss the covalent compound those element which uh, share their electron with each other so by the sharing of electron the attractive forces are generating between them so these attractive forces are known as the covalent bond so today we are going to discuss the new attractive forces and these attractive forces are known as the covalent bonds uh, we have student we have learned that molecules of element are made up of the same kind of atoms like there is a certain molecule known as the homo molecules so uh, an example is a molecule of hydrogen atom so the molecule of hydrogen atom the hydrogen atom is made up of the two hydrogen atom like this is the one hydrogen atom in their outermost shell there is one electron and this is the second hydrogen atom in which their outermost shell there is one electron <clears throat> so how how are the hydro how are the two hydrogen atoms joined or bonded like the hydrogen has the ability to lose their one electron and this hydrogen has also have the ability so both have the same electronegativity then how they form how the attractive forces are generating between them so so the two atoms are identical like both the atoms are identical so we don't expect one of them to transfer its electron to the other like hydrogen have the tendency if they transfer their electron or they lost their electron if they if this hydrogen lost their electron then they are not the stable hydrogen so instead of transferring of electron like they have didn't have an ability to transfer the electron so instead of the transferring of electron the two atoms form bond by the shearing of electron as they shear their electron so these hydrogen atom which are represented by cross and these hydrogen atom are represented by dot so these two hydrogen atom share their electron with each other as they share the electron the attractive force are built between them and these attractive forces is known as the hydrogen bond simple if we take the, the simple equation this is the h plus i this is the uh, this is also the h plus sign like hydrogen atom and hydrogen atom both hydrogen atom will combine together it will form hydrogen molecule so in this way the hydrogen molecule are formed so what is the covalent bond now a covalent bond is formed when the two atoms are joined together by the sharing of electron like these are the two atoms so these atoms are joined together by sharing their electron so this is known as the covalent bond generally the covalent bond are formed between the two non-metals like hydrogen is a non-metal it is placed in the first group just because in their outermost shell there is only one electron that's why it is placed in the first group but this is the hydrogen is the non-metal so according to the jn lewis proposed that the two atom could attain stable electronic configuration by sharing electron between them so when these two atoms like these hydrogen atom are the same are the known metal the same non metal they share their electron so the attractive forces are established between them as the attractive forces are established so now this hydrogen molecule is, is stable now the shear pair of electron is represented by a dash so uh, in a covalent bond the shear pair electron is represented by the dash line between the two bonded atom the shear pair of electron remain between the two bonded atom are called the localized electron so these are the localized electron the bond which is formed by the mutual shearing of electron is called the covalent bond for example the hydrogen molecule oxygen molecule and hydrochloric acid like the different homo molecule or in a different heteromolecule in a heteromolecule like if there is a 
Electronegativity difference between them are much more. So in this type of compound, the covalent bond will be formed. Like hydrogen is a non-metal, chlorine is also a non-metal, but the size of the chlorine and hydrogen is relatively very small as compared to the chlorine, and there are and the elect and there is a big electronegativity difference. So that's why in this HCl there um, the covalent bond will be formed. तो स्टूडेंट जैसे कि हमने पिछली आपके पास जो लेक्चर है उसमें हमने आयोनिक बॉन्ड का जिक्र किया था इसमें हम कोवलेंट बॉन्ड का जिक्र करेंगे कोवलेंट बॉन्ड आपके पास अगर आप एग्जांपल लें कि आपके पास एक बुक है और आपको अपने फ्रेंड को भी आपके पास फ्रेंड आपके फ्रेंड के पास बुक नहीं है ठीक है तो आप क्या करेंगे उस सेंस में आप उसको कम्प्लीट ट्रांसफर तो नहीं कर सकते बुक कम्प्लीटली दे तो नहीं सकते तो आप क्या करेंगे शेयरिंग करेंगे तो शेयरिंग से आप भी क्या होंगे जो दोनों स्टूडेंट हैं वो क्या हो जाएंगे स्टेबलाइज हो जाएंगे तो दोनों स्टूडेंट कुछ ना कुछ सीख पाएंगे इसी तरीके से कोल एंड बॉन्ड आपके पास सेम एटम के दरमियान में यानी नॉन मेटल्स के दरमियान में बनेंगे तो आपके पास हाइड्रोजन एक नॉन मेटल है तो ये अपने इलेक्ट्रॉन को शेयर करेंगे और जैसे इलेक्ट्रॉन को शेयर करेंगे इनके दरमियान में एक बॉन्ड उस बॉन्ड को आप डैश लाइन से रिप्रेजेंट करेंगे अकॉर्डिंग टू द लोएस कॉन्सेप्ट जे एंड लोएस तो आप इस तरीके से ये अटेंड कर जाएगा क्या करेंगे इलेक्ट्रॉन यानी स्टेबल हो जाएंगे अटेंड कर सकेंगे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन बाय शेयरिंग की वजह से तो इनके दरमियान में जो बॉन्ड बनेगा वो बनेगा म्यूचुअल शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन से तो इसको आप कहेंगे कोवलेंट बॉन्ड अगर आप एग्जांपल लें फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एच तो हाइड्रोजन इज ऑल्सो द इलेक्ट्रो आपके पास क्या इन नॉन मेटल एंड क्लोरीन इज ऑल्सो अ नॉन मेटल बट द साइज ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन इज वेरी स्मॉल एज कम्पेयर टू द साइज ऑफ द क्लोरीन एटम सो दैट्स वाई इन हाइड्रोजन एंड क्लोरीन द अट्रैक्टिव फोर्सेज आर द स्ट्रॉन्ग अट्रैक्टिव फोर्सेज आर जनरेटेड सो दीज अट्रैक्टिव फोर्सेज आर नॉन एज द कोवल एंड बॉन्ड so now the next topic is the types of the covalent bond the covalent bond is further divided into three type that is the single covalent bond double covalent bond and the triple covalent bond now the next first one is the single covalent bond the bond in which the two atoms share one electron each to form a pair of electron is called a single covalent bond a single straight line show the single covalent bond for example h2 if you see h2 like there is hydrogen atom plus hydrogen atom these hydrogen atom are combined together so this dash line show that, that this is the covalent bond so a single covalent bond a single bond is formed between these two hydrogen atom so it is h2 similarly cl plus cl are combined together so it is called known as the cl2 or similarly cl minus c so this dash represent a single covalent bond so the bond in which the bond in which two atoms share one electron like this chlorine share their one electron with this chlorine atom and these chlorine atoms share their one electron with this chlorine atom so due to this sharing of electron a bond a straight line is formed and this straight line is known as the covalent bond so it share mutually share so this chlorine atom both the chlorine atom mutually share their electron so by this sharing a single covalent bond is formed between this type of the molecule like if you take the example of the chlorine molecule chlorine molecule is formed from the two chlorine atom the chlorine atom electronic configuration is 2 8 7 in their first shell there is 2 electron in their second shell 8 electron in their third shell there is 7 electron so there is a tendency to accept one more electron a chlorine atom has 7 electron its in its valence shell like in its outermost shell there is a 7 electron these two electron atoms like there is a two electron atom what one is represented as dot and the next one is represented as the cross a chlorine atom has seven electron in its valence shell the cl two chlorine atom mutually share one electron to other to form the chlorine atom so these chlorine atom share their one electron with this chlorine atom and these chlorine atom share their one electron with this chlorine atom so the two chlorine atom mutually share one electron with each other to form the chlorine molecule therefore the chlorine atom attain the inert electronic configuration of argon and complete their octet so the atomic number of argon is 18 and the chlorine is 17 by accepting one more electron it will be it will 
18 so it will attain the electronic configuration of the argon in order to stabilize themselves so the next one is the molecule of methane that is the carbon has four electron in its outermost shell because it is present in the four group so outer motion and need for more electrons so it require for more electron in order to attain the inert gas electronic configuration of the neon therefore the four atom of hydrogen mutually share one electron with other carbon atom to form a molecule if we see the example this is methane ch4 so this is the carbon atom when these carbon atom are combined with the four hydrogen atoms so it will form so these carbon share they are one electron with hydrogen and these hydrogen also share their electron with carbon so that in order to, in order to complete their octet so carbon having the valency 4 having the ability to gain 4 hydrogen atom so it complete their octet so this is the carbon solid and hydrogen is the ga in, in their gaseous form so 2 twos are 4 and this is CH4 methane gas so when these uh, solid carbon Combined with hydrogen, it will form the methane gas and this is the molecule of methane. So, a single covalent bond is formed between them. Like if you see, there is a single covalent bond, four single covalent bond, one, two, three and four. There is a four single covalent bond is present between these methane molecule. Just because these carbon share their electron with this hydrogen and these carbon also share their electron with this hydrogen. Now come to the next type of the covalent bond that is the double covalent bond. Similarly, the bond in which the two atoms share two electrons with each other to form a pairs of electron is called the double covalent bond. That's mean if the two atoms like the two atoms share their two electron like in a single covalent bond the two atoms share their one electron so a double straight line as show as su show such as the covalent bond for example o2 oxygen is present in the se second group uh, in a sixth group so it requires the two electron so in this is the ethane this is the carbon dioxide so first example is the oxygen molecule uh, oxygen molecule is formed from two oxygen atom. These oxygen atom electronic configuration is 2 and 6, 2 and 6. An oxygen atom has a 6 electron in its valence shell. Like in the first shell there is the 2 electron. In the second shell there is a 6 electron. In their last shell there is a 6 electrons. So in its valence shell and share the 2 electron with each other. So this is the cross and this is the dot. So we why it is represented as a dot and cross in order to differentiate between the two atoms so now the oxygen atom to form the oxygen molecule so these oxygen share their electron with these oxygen atoms so the bond are formed so there is one attractive bond one attractive forces are generated and the second attractive forces so due to this attractive forces the double bond are formed between the two oxygen atom in this way both oxygen atoms attain the inert electronic configuration of neon and electronic configuration and in order to complete their octet so this is oxygen plus oxygen so in oxygen when these oxygen are combined together it will form oxygen so double bond are formed between the two oxygen atoms so the two atom these are the two atom which share their two electron like these oxygen atom share their two electron with this oxygen atom and these oxygen atom share their two electron with this oxygen atom so by the such share mutual sharing of electron the attractive forces are generated and these attracted two attractive forces are generated and these attractive forces is known as the double covalent bond if you see the example of the carbon dioxide Similarly, in carbon dioxide, carbon atoms share four electrons with two oxygen atoms and form two double bonds. Like this is the carbon atom, which is present in four group. This is oxygen atom, this is oxygen atom, this oxygen requ atom require the two electrons. These oxygen atom require two electrons, these carbon require four electrons. So how to do what, what to do? So these oxygen share their two electrons with this carbon. These oxygen also share these their two electrons with this carbon. So their octet are complete but these carbon by these oxygen also share the electron with carbon so by, by this mutual sharing of electron the 
double bond is formed between them so this is the double covalent bond so this is the molecule of the carbon dioxide triple covalent bond the bond in which the two atoms share three electron each to form a three pairs of electron is called a triple covalent bond a triple straight line show this is the triple straight line show a covalent bond in which the total six electron are shared for example n2 this is c2 h2 etc some now take an example nitrogen this is the nitrogen molecule is formed from two nitrogen atom Ma so the nitrogen molecule is formed from two nitrogen atom the nitrogen atom electronic configuration is two and five like nitrogen uh, in their first shell there is two electron in their outermost shell there is five electron so nitrogen is present in the five group the nitrogen atom have five electron in its valence shell and it shared three electron with other another high nitrogen atom to form the nitrogen molecule in this way both the nitrogen atom attain the inner electronic configuration of the neon so in order to complete their octet so if you see this diagram this is the neon the electronic shell this is the electronic shell in which how many electron are there five in this there how many electron are there five so instead of five the two elect three electron the two three electron the two atoms share their two and ele three electrons so these high nitrogen share their three electron with this nitrogen atom so it will form the triple covalent bond so there is a triple covalent bond between these nitrogen atom and the remaining the two is the lone pair of electrons so this is the lone pair there is a two type of like uh, electron that is the bond pair and the lone pair so these are the lone pair which has a tendency to accept or to donate their lone pair or to form another type of uh, to form other bond and this is the bond formation like those electron which take part in a bond formation are known as the bond uh, bond electrons and these the electron which uh, this is the lone pair some electron take part like uh, it is the ability to share the electron with other so this is the lone pair so when the ni one nitrogen atom share their two electron with another nitrogen atom and these nitrogen atom also share their three electrons so it will form n2 and it, it uh, attain the inert electronic configuration of the neon so this is the molecule of the nitrogen so this is the overall lecture so class 10 try to solve the activity 4.1 uh, which is on page number 102 and activity uh, example 4.2 and the practice problem 4.2 which is on page number 103 write all this in your rough registers if you have any complication anything so you should have to ask me in a comment section but don't share this answer in a comments thank you class 10